Alright mga dude pare, so it's the end of the year 2023 and it's that time of the year again where we take a look back at the year that has happened and look at all the cars that I've reviewed in the channel and see which one of these cars deserve a spot in the 2023 Reagan's Rides Vehicle Choice Awards. So without further ado, let's do this! Now just like my past uh, Reagan Strides Vehicle Choice Awards videos, we are going to use the following criteria in choosing which cars make it to the best of the best. For one, it has to be a vehicle that I was able to borrow for several days in order for me to have a full in-depth car review video. And it has to be a vehicle that of course I was able to drive and borrow in the year 2023. Now this same vehicle um, will make it to the list if at the end of that lend out period where I borrowed the press car the, uh, it's a car that you know that I don't want to let go of you know it's something that I just want to stay in my garage and call it my own but anyway we have 10 categories here so um, yeah before I keep babbling on I'm going to go straight to the categories let's find out which of these vehicles make it to the Reagan's Rides 2023 Vehicle Choice Awards. The award goes to the Nissan Almera VL Turbo. Oh yes. You see, I got to borrow that at the tail end of the year and I wasn't really expecting much from this vehicle but man oh man, it really surprised me because I never thought that I would say that Almera is a sporty drive but even if it only has a one liter three cylinder turbocharged engine, it really gave me a very fun experience. I mean, dude, it is, um, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun to drive. It has a good amount of space. Uh, you've got a fantastic level of visibility from the driver's perspective. So yeah, it's gonna make such, uh, you know, such an easy first car to drive, especially for the newbie drivers out there. Now. What I also love about the Almera VL Turbo is that it also comes with Nissan's Connect services which is um, a suite of these really fun smartphone app um, features where you could um, you could remote start your vehicle, you can, uh, you can call for help and a lot of other features of Nissan Connect services which the Nissan Almera VL Turbo gets. Now aside from that, it's also such a looker, it's such a handsome vehicle. So yeah, because of that, well, the Nissan Almera VL Turbo takes the award for the best subcompact sedan for 2023. The next category is the best compact sedan category. And apparently for the year 2023, I only got to review one compact sedan. So essentially this one vehicle wins by default but even if it wins by default the GAC MPOW GB is fully deserving of the title because dude when I drove this car I mean wow it like blew my socks off I mean it is priced very well the MPOW GB is the mid-spec trim of the MPOW lineup but it comes with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that can put out 168 horsepower and it's mated to a seven speed wet type dual clutch transmission. Now that makes for such a sporty drive and for me one of the biggest reasons why you're buying a, a sedan instead of a crossover or an SUV is you want a sportier drive and that's exactly what the GAC MPOW GB gives you for a lot less than what the other mainstream compact sedans can give. So yes, even if the MPOW GB is the default winner for the, for the compact sedan category, it fully deserves that title because dude, oh yeah, it is one hell of a fun vehicle to drive. Now when we move over to the next category, well, when you're shopping for a subcompact crossover, how much power and how sporty the drive feels kind of takes a bit of a backseat in favor of, well, of course, looks, uh, comfort, connectivity, 
ease of driving, and of course, value for money. Now, after testing out so many subcompact crossovers in 2023, the award for the best subcompact crossover goes to the Hyundai Creta GLS IVT. Oh yes. Now, this um, good-looking small crossover may have only 113 horsepower and around 144 newton meters of torque. But dude, the way Hyundai was able to tune that IVT or in Intelligent Variable Transmission, well, they tune it quite well such that you're able to drive it easily around the city roads, around town. You know, it just works with you. Now, aside from that, the Hyundai Creta also comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which are huge bonuses, especially for the category. I mean, considering that you're getting this vehicle for less than 1.4 million Philippine pesos at the time that I made this video, wow. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that the Creta is also a very unique and handsome looking vehicle and of course, we have all of the space and creature comforts uh, that you can um, ask for for this vehicle category. So because of that, the Hyundai Creta GLS IVT deserves the title as the best subcompact crossover for 2023. Now, the winner for the best compact crossover for 2023 is a relative newcomer here in the Philippine market because the Haval H6 HEV Max uh, just launched in the country. Now, the H6 Max is the base trim of the H6 in the Philippines with the top spec trim being the Supreme. But even if it's a base trim, wow, I mean, I was literally blown away. Well. This, my friends, for one, is a full hybrid, which means that you get the full benefits of the EV Act that's accorded for hybrid vehicles, which includes number coding exemption until the year 2030. Now, aside from that full hybrid status, well, the Haval H6 Max also can deliver a maximum of 240 horsepower and 530 newton meters of torque. Now, dude, that is pretty much sports car territory already, and I had a lot of fun driving this vehicle. Now, aside from all that power, this H6 Max also delivers fantastic fuel economy figures. You see, when I drove it around the city, I was able to get around 20 kilometers per liter in light city traffic, and I was able to get around 23 kilometers per liter on the highway. So yes, you're getting fantastic fuel economy, you're getting oodles and oodles of power, and you've got a really, really good set of cabin materials, and of course, a very unique and head-turning ride in the Haval H6 Max. So imagine if I get a chance to try out the top spec H6 Supreme, right? But for 2023, the Haval H6 Max takes the win for the best compact crossover in my Reagan's Rides Vehicle Choice Awards. Now, the next category is a tad bit controversial because I actually have a tie for this, but taking a closer look, well, uh, the winner slightly edged out the runner-up. You see, the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium takes the win as the best MPV for 2023, and it's edged out the, the runner-up, which is the Honda BRV VX. Now, uh, the BRV VX gave me a really fun driving experience, and it also is the most powerful small MPV in its class. But the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium excelled in the area which matters the most, especially to MPV buyers, which is um, overall capacity in terms of space and uh, the comfort of driving itself. Now, the BRV is a comfortable drive, but the Stargazer GLS Premium really felt more like a minivan to drive, which means that the, the suspension tuning, the handling, the overall comfort of the vehicle is really way up there. Not to mention the fact that it also is shaped like an egg. So yeah, you have more cargo capacity inside and you have um, a more spacious cabin for your passengers as well. 
Now, lastly, the Stargazer GLS Premium also has wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which are huge benefits and features, at least in my opinion. So because of that, the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium takes the win as the best MPV for 2023. Now, the winner for the best mid-size crossover or unibody SUV is also one of the most expensive vehicles that I got to drive for the year 2023. You see, the BMW X5 M Sport may cost almost 6 million Philippine pesos at the time that I made this video, but dude, it delivered in all of the right areas. I mean, wow. We get a turbo diesel six cylinder engine here that can put out 265 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque and the power delivery is so smooth it's so linear it's also quite scary if you don't know what you're doing but when you take it up to like autobahn levels of speed it is also quite stable and refined now of course being a bmw you get a fantastic like premium cabin there and this car really nails one of my criteria which is at the end of the lend out with that press vehicle i did not want to return it to bmw philippines because i really want it to be my personal driver i mean wow it's such a fantastic car so it fully deserves the title for the best mid-size crossover or unibody suv for 2023 Now we move on to the one of the hotly contested categories in this video which is the best mid-size pickup truck category and the award goes to the Ford Ranger Raptor. Oh yes, I mean need I say more? The Ranger Raptor is badass. It's huge, it's powerful, and it's super comfortable for a mid-size pickup truck. Now we also have a good amount of connectivity here. We've got a fantastic infotainment system. We've got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You've got all of the off-road goodies that you can ask for. So dude pare, it is fully deserved that the Ford Ranger Raptor takes the win as the best mid-size pickup truck for the year 2023. Now the winner for the best pickup base midsize SUV also surprised me because I didn't really expect it to win but as it turns out, it actually gave me the most enjoyable drive. You see, the Toyota Fortuner GR Sport may be the most expensive midsize pickup base SUV in the category at 2,645,000 Philippine pesos but it delivered in all of the areas that matter to most people. You see, we've got a good amount of power here. We've got 204 PS and 500 Newton meters of torque. Good amount of pulling power there. We've got a good set of connectivity and creature comforts inside. Although, I would wish that we had the ventilated seats of the Fortuner LTD. But what surprised me the most is the ride quality. You see, a lot of people say that Fortuners are a bit stiff and they're a bit jittery when it comes to the overall ride quality. But the Fortuner GR Sports new GR dampers really made a big difference. See, the ride is smoother and more composed. And the way it handled through fast corners, yeah. Dude, it doesn't feel like a mid-size pickup base SUV at all. So because of all of those things, all of those you know, improvements that they've done to this tried and tested platform, the Toyota Fortuner GR Sport takes a surprise win in the best mid-size pickup base SUV category. So the winner for the best performance car category is again a winner by default. You see, the Honda Civic Type R FL5 is the only performance vehicle that I got to drive for the entire year. But dude, it fully deserves that award. You see, we have such uh, 
such a fun car to drive. I mean, it is such a fun sports sedan. We've got uh, 315 horsepower on top. We have 420 newton meters of torque. You've got a short throw, six speed manual transmission here and a very light clutch such that you won't even mind daily driving the Type R FL5. Now, of course, not to mention the fact that it is a sports sedan. So we've got tons of space inside and Yes, my kids, my children love to ride that vehicle. I mean, it is a rocket. It is such a fun car to drive. So yes, the Honda Civic Type R FL5 takes the crown as the best performance car for 2023. All right, so we've reached the end of the video where we will crown the Regan's Rides 2023 Car of the Year. And this award goes to none other than the Honda Civic Type R FL5. Oh yes, my best performance car for 2023 is also my car of the year for 2023. You see, the Honda Civic Type R FL5 is such a fun sports sedan to drive and at the same time, it is super practical as well. We've got oodles and oodles of power and it delivers it in such an enjoyable way and of course that short throw six speed manual transmission and a very light clutch such that you won't even mind daily driving the type r fl5 uh, even with its manual transmission not to mention the fact that we've got tons of space inside being a sports sedan and in fact it's actually the favorite vehicle that my my kids got to to ride in for the entire year 2023 oh and it's also the car that i got to borrow the longest because due to some unforeseen circumstances uh, i had the civic type rfl5 for three full weeks oh yes thank you so much honda cars philippines for allowing me to take care of the Civic Type R FL5 for three weeks because those were some of the best weeks I've had this entire year. I mean, oh boy, three weeks with the Type R FL5. I mean, wow, that is automotive heaven. Anyway, there you have it, guys. These are my best of the best for the year 2023. I hope that this video helps you make an informed decision. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Reagan's Right. It will really help the channel. Help me get up there to 100,000 subscribers. And if you have some time, also follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks for watching.